Welcome back to the EW Comic Con Lounge. I'm Darren Franich. Very excited to be sitting here with the Riddick crew, writer director David Tui, star Katie Sackoff, and Mr. Vin Diesel over there. How's it going, guys? No worries today. Yeah, this is a, this has been very exciting for us. I'm sure. You know, uh, you just came from the panel where you got to show off a lot of new footage from Riddick. What was it like being there in Hall H today? Kind of you know hearing and maybe not seeing the reactions since I know Hall H is so dark. When people got to finally see the footage. Well, you know, it's we we screened the movie very little because it's we weren't a studio movie, so we didn't test it to death and we didn't focus group it to death. So I've seen it with very few audiences, right? Mm. So to see the kind of reaction and the reaction in just the place you wanted a reaction, yeah, very gratifying. It must be nice. Well, and you know, obviously, you guys have been with this character in this franchise for so long. I mean, Vin, uh, it's it's been close to a decade since the Chronicles of Riddick. Sure. What was it like for you, kind of getting back into Riddick's shoes? He, he's kind of an extreme person. I think it's okay. <laughs> very, very extreme person. Um, I actually went up state and to the woods for about four months and just centered before playing this character because he's such an introspective character that uh, the kind of antisocial demeanor is something you actually have to work with if you're me because I'm much more prone to being. Sure. I love you. <laughs> One thing I always say about Vin, I'm like, he's so happy all the time. Like, he's just like, hi. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about your character, Doll? I mean, how does she compare to, say, it seems like she's a little bit more unhinged than Kara Thrace was, let's say. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think that, that the roles that I've played before Doll always had this um, emotional kind of vulnerable place to go back to, whereas Doll doesn't have that. You know, Doll is, is fighting to, I think, protect herself and to find herself and to feel like she's safe someplace and home someplace. And, and I think that she's just constantly searching for that peace and putting herself in situations where she's in harm's way just constantly sure. just to have, searching for that place that makes her feel like she's finally found herself. Vin, uh, this obviously has been a huge summer for you. Fast and Furious 6 did, did pretty well at the box office from what I hear. Riddick's <laughs> opening in, in a couple of months. And uh, you've been posting on Facebook that you've been taking meetings with Marvel lately. Uh, someone actually asked you a question about it at the panel. And I did have you to see say, that? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. one question we... Uh, yeah. It's already on rescued. deadline. It's already on it's, deadline. It's already on deadline. It's already everywhere. It's taken over the internet. So I, I, I gotta ask, what's what's the announcement that it's coming up <laughs> <laughs> Can you, give a, can, can you give us one little tease about it? But, uh, I wish I could. Mm -hmm. um, I could tell you that I, well, I, I, I'm really not supposed to say anything. I can tell you that, that friends, Mar come on. Marvel was excited about uh, bringing a different kind of relationship, a different kind of love story, I guess kind of semi-inspired from the Dom Letty relationship into the Marvel Universe. So. I can tell you that, but I can't tell it's you. Well, but he's told me everything. <laughs> everything. We'll talk afterwards. <laughs>